It's time for Seriously, Let's Play. Well, hello, and welcome back. Well, hello. Yeah. I love it. He, get, hey. he hams it up. <laughs> I always do it. I, I am a Just, ham. You, you are, but, I mean, you really, really push that, well, hello. Yeah. Hello, hey, indeed. ladies. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, hi, this yeah. is oh, John, sorry. and we are back uh, with Passion Early Podcast for Seriously, Let's Play. And we are concluding our final cyber episode with Heroes Unlimited. And I am joined at the table again with Steve. Salutations. Sean. Good evening. Jens. Hi ho. And Roxy. Greetings. So, when last we <laughs> left, our intrepid group of cyber. We're always escaping. Why are we always intrepid? I mean, what because if that wants is to be, kind of the radio. I mean, what if thing, somebody wants to be a Dodge Neon instead of a Dodge Intrepid? True. That that is a good point. Uh, you know, I, I won't hold that against you. My friend's yeah. parents had a Dodge Intrepid. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that's all I remember. <laughs> Well, when last Welcome we left. Welcome to the podcast with me, guys. Yeah. <laughs> when last we left our team. We just blew up a parking garage. Yeah. yeah. And when we fly in, as, as cyborgs, we just cyber bullied two tanks. We did. Yeah. I don't feel bad about that at all. I don't either. They shot me with a missile. <laughs> yeah. So we, How'd that feel? In your area. In my area. <laughs> 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 That was the exact quote from the GM. <laughs> yes, that it was. was. <laughs> they didn't need they... to hit you directly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they just blew up the area. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice save. <laughs> nice save. But yeah, no, it didn't feel good. I flew away. I was not as fast or as small as I had hoped to miss their missile they, attack. They were helping. It blew you towards us. It did. It did. And I just, I just juiced my my yeah. speed, and I was like, "Bye, y'all." <laughs> And they had just, you know, had that cool transformation moment where they had gone from being these quad, you know, quad-legged vehicle to these it wasn't, walkers. It wasn't as cool as, as I, they might think. Yeah, well, I thought it was pretty awesome. You would. Yeah. Onyx stopped for a second and was like, yeah, that's, I wish I had one of those. Yeah. But, yeah, but I don't, and they have them, so I'm going to break their toy because yeah. I'm that kid. Like, can we just cut, like, Barricade's suit in half and... and Whoa, 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 whoa. And then, and then put some, <laughs> and then let them be right. two halves. Be, be, before you cut it in half, let me get out first, because, you know, I'm yeah, in there no, somewhere. Yeah, you, you are right in the middle. <laughs> I've been looking at one of those fenders for a shield for some time. <laughs> well, so <laughs> yeah. you flew off the top of this parking structure at uh, over 100 miles per hour. and Which means we could have jumped to 1985. It's possible. It's gonna go back in time. <laughs> so, the parking garage blew up behind you uh, after you rigged some explosives with your dem demolition abilities, mm -hmm. and it collapsed and destroyed the uh, quad Pylon? hunters. Oh yeah, the quad tanks. Oh, yeah. they're called quad hunters when they're quad separate. Hunters. Oh my gosh! You then they made no your longer way. QTs. Yeah, you made your QTs. way to this uh, skyscraper. And going inside, started making your way up to the top. You are far enough away from the rest of the soldiers that you're able to essentially escape this level of the underground. You make your way up. It takes quite a while because this skyscraper is about 40 or 50 stories before you get to the break. And at that point, it leans at a 45 degree angle. You make your way into that section and then start climbing the rest of the way uh, very carefully. Uh, there are times that it seems to shift or move under y'all's weight. You pause for a moment, holding your breath, and then begin to make your way again. All the while, I mean, the structure is blown out. There are no windows. You are looking out into infinite blackness, occasionally seeing lights in the distance where there might be troops moving around. And you make your way up and through some cement that has a formed kind of a crust or layer going into another section of the city. This section, however, uh, it looks like it is almost crushed. The buildings uh, here are just the, the weight of whatever is above it has flattened them. And you have about a 10 or 15 foot roof above you where it is stone and concrete yet again. And you're making your way through the city, 
uh, and past old buildings, old houses, old factories yet again, looking for another section that'll get you further up. At one point, while you're driving around, you actually end up fighting off what appear to be uh, legendary rumors of cyber cannibals. Ooh. Yeah, these... Whoa. Yeah. Take your parts for themselves. Yeah, th essentially what they will do is anybody who seems to get trapped down here, they lie waiting, attack, and kill you. Feasting on whatever flesh or uh, organs you still have and selling the rest if they can make uh, they make their way back up to the market and sell whatever is left of you. At least they kill you first. Yeah, that's always nice. Yeah, It's always bad when they start eating first. But the five of you together, uh, you are a combat team and quite capable. So these guys never had a chance against you. Uh, I mean... With the two soldiers and everything else, I mean, your overall strength of each individual in this team is far beyond what theirs was. Yeah. So you begin to make your way, and you finally find a place where it looks like this is where they came through, uh, these cannibals, and you wedge your way in and go up another level. And it opens up, and you can see uh, this is about as big as the city was below. And off in the distance, though, you see a uh, steel cylinder that rises up through the entire area. And you know, without a shadow of doubt, that that is one of the elevators. Sweet. All you have to do is get there. <laughs> How far? Uh, probably about a mile or two, honestly. All right. Uh, I'm 400 miles per hour. That's... <laughs> yeah. I uh, blow straight through. I am still. So are we? Do scanning. you still have tank? Uh, yeah, I'm. A, is that how we're telling it? We got up the tower with my yeah. T with yeah, the tank. Still yes. in, yeah. yeah, he's still got. He's still burning. And I'm and I'm sitting at 600 SDC. So I mean, if we need speed, we it can it. be attained. But I think right now we'll just ease mosey ease on it, down yeah, at 60. I'm, I'm scanning. Because I'm assuming the 110 that I had when I blew off the building, we kind of bled off going up the skyscraper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm going to say I'm still looking with um, infrared. Any chatter on the radio? You hear uh, it's kind of garbled, but you believe that there are groups now coming up. Right. Um, uh, it looks like they have secured the lower levels and they have found no more survivors. And I'm going to try to, to detect ambushes on the way to the elevator just to make sure we don't get jumped All right. by any more of those cyber cannibals Actually, okay. can that we that now too? know are real. Yeah, absolutely. Cyber cannibals. Uh, let's see. That is 35. That is under my 45. I did uh, not get it. Mine yeah, a, absolutely. Yep, 54 over 30. For the most part on this level, you think that you see a few... Uh, what appear to be broken down machines. Mm -hmm. uh, these are not humanoid at all. These are almost uh, partial androids. Uh, limbs mo missing and other things. And they just are scattering away from you, almost like insects down here. Uh, you see groups of them and they just move. It's like they, they're like, we don't want to be around anything. They are on their last legs. Uh, okay. If they have legs even left. That's good. My character is android racist. I've decided that right now. Okay. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> so I'm glad that they're going away Dang because bro. they're gross. <laughs> Aren't you an android? No, I'm a cyborg. Oh, it's right, completely different. Right. That is true. <laughs> I think it's a fine hair we're splitting there, but okay. You know, it we're is, close enough, I feel like. It's like the Dr. Seuss book where some people had stars on their bellies, other people had circles. Yeah. Other than that, they were exactly Just the same. Yeah. Stars. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's, it's, there's no logic to it. That's why it's racism. That's why it's racism. <laughs> yeah, true. You make your way to uh, further down the road, and you are traveling at quite a clip when all of a sudden, and uh, Roxy, your character sees it first, there is a <gasps> gap. Uh, Puddle! But, yeah, and it is not just a gap. It is a large chasm uh, that separates the edge of this level from the elevator. And you are guessing that it is probably about... Uh, 70 to 80 yards ahead of us oh, yeah. or, or it's that that, uh, chasm, that is chasm is that far and it, it's like a wide open gulf you can see down in the darkness below 
and you can see the elevator shafts uh, across from you. You also see light in the elevators as they are beginning to come up. Uh oh. Okay, well, we can survive the fall, but that's just going to take us right back down to where we were. Yeah, no, no. Not with enough speed. My thing is. No, no, no. If we go, if we, I mean, we, if we went over the. We would just go down another level. If we fell into the gap, we'd survive the fall. My question was is it. But then we're back where we started from. 80 yards in front of us, or is it 80 yards across? 80 yards across, and then there is the elevator shaft. How far in front of us is it? Like I there, mean, there is the end of the platform that you were on, or the level that you were on. And where is that at in relation to us? Like right in front of you. Okay. And I thought you said it was off a ways. No, no. I'm guessing you, it's like this. Here's an elevator. Yeah, yeah. And there's 80 yards here. Yeah. Yeah, I was exactly. asking I mean, how I close how we were to the edge. Well, enough that we were able to to slow down and not fly yeah. over the edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So well, that's what I was trying to figure yes, out was no, how, you how have, far away it was from us. Yeah, you have your vision. When you're in infrared is 600 feet, I believe. So you would have right. been able to see it very easily and slow okay. down in time and tell everyone else. Yeah. Okay. So we so slowed I, we'll, down, we'll came that. to a stop. Your vision is a lot further than yours, but y'all do see the light in the elevators. And mm-hmm. it's almost as if, imagine the, the long fast? tubes <laughs> and coming up the levels of these tubes, you see an illumination. So, yeah, and we could see out when we were going down, right? Yes. So they could potentially see us. They could if you had any lights on or anything else. Which, I don't think we do, no. but um, I will say are this. Are we loud? Can we, Can we be heard? I think not it's far enough from away. inside of the elevator. Does anybody have and a not way? not from down below. Does anybody have a way to, like, look in closer? Uh, the Blitz doesn't happen to have, like, zoomy eyeballs or anything. Or? I mean, I can try and hack into the surveillance systems because I have both. I would, I would like to see who's on that elevator. Let me try. So hack mm-hmm. or surveillance? Uh, we are going to go ahead and let's start with a hack. Okay. Ten, and I'm my wow. my hacking is thirty. Yes. Or, well, it's 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 ten and a zero. So is that ten? That's yeah. ten. Okay. Yeah. So, so ten. Yeah. You hack your uh, the signal into that elevator I where want, the security system is. I want to know if Herzog or Tadashi are on that elevator. Uh, we were either betrayed or ambushed. On the elevators. Uh, there are two that are coming up currently. One's a little bit behind the other one. In one elevator, you see Tadashi, Valkyrie, and about three soldiers. Mm. Oh, no. Angry. And <laughs> then on the other elevator... <laughs> Is this how General talks? You see mm, about... <laughs> you see 15 soldiers on the other soldiers. elevator. All right, guys. So on the one elevator coming up, we got Tadashi, Valkyrie, and a soldier. And the other elevator's got about 15 soldiers on it. Nothing I don't think we can... Can I mean, it's something we can handle. Yeah. If we want. This is something we can crash right into. I'm I'm looking at Blitz. I'm I'm looking at Blitz until we see if the elevator stops where we are. I have a a really bad idea. (laughs) (laughs) No, we like bad ideas. (laughs) Me, okay. uh, Me and... uh, The general? And and the general. Connor. Connor. (laughs) If we're on first names (laughs) now. This uh, isn't a game anymore. No, we're still we're we're my my character is like a heavy military background, so it's we're like using general. He's he's using code names because we're at war now. Night. Nice. He's he's right he's right back there. He's <laughs> right back there in the wars. Uh, so we can we can like it's go orange. back, Onyx. Onyx. speed speed up with our wheels, jump this gap while the rest of like them can like try to find another way across unless like they also want to because we're the most combat capable. So we can go over there and wait for them to get up while we while we send um, Blitz, uh, Mercury, and um, Barricade to uh, flank and ambush from the side. So, okay, I like the plan. Yeah, about jetting across. We can. I can jump this gap and crash it into the elevator with the fifteen soldiers and remote detonate. Can you remote jump it too? Yes. Well, okay. So program it. I can program it, and but we'll but we'll stay on so that we can be over there. Oh, when I want to fight Valkyrie. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Valkyrie yeah. is a traitor. It sounds like a one-on-one. Uh, yeah. Or yeah. whatever. Yeah. So why don't we? While that that's coming up, we'll get across. And. Okay. We'll get across. We'll jump across. To everybody will be on me. We can jump. I can jump it. Uh, we'll get it next to that thing. I'll get it rigged to blow. I'll skedaddle across somewhere, find some shelter, and get ready to blow it when everybody's in position. All right. Well, uh, essentially, you've got two 
plexiglass tubes with elevators in them. Okay. Okay. They are pretty far apart. Uh, uh, yeah, you've got 20 guys in one elevator shaft. Okay. Uh, and then in the other elevator shaft, you have... Valkyrie, Tadashi. And the three soldiers. Yeah, so okay, got... so then which one is the closest to us in the gap? The one with they're... Tadashi on it? Or the uh, one with the... They're almost equidistant. Right, but... So... so it would be jumping across. You could remote the vehicle into the one elevator that right. has all the people in it. Right. Uh, but then you would also, it would almost be necessary for your, one of your teammates to carry you and make that jump and everybody crash into the other elevator. And uh, Yeah, let's do that. That sounds good. Yeah. So, one there of any, the bigger guys, I mean, I'm only 5'6". Yeah, I'm going to hit your ride with the king. Okay. He's got poison oozes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, poison sweat. The general. So, <laughs> so the general, my, sorry. my thinking is if he if he's uh, going to hack the, the armor to fly to the other side, I will just hitch a ride on that and then jump off and go to the other other elevator that it's not blowing up in front of. Okay. So that, that way that way I can save my SDC and like not have to spend it to speed up to jump over this gap. All right. Is so, my thinking. So what do I So we're jumping off the tank. No, I'm I'm gonna program it like to do it remote. I'm gonna hitch a ride with you over the gap after the tank flies across. Like on my back? Yeah. yeah. I'm piggyback. I'm hitching a ride on the tank yeah. just to get over I will there. allow either at this point. Uh, if you want to jump off the tank and that way you come on a, uh, come on, on a different side of the elevator, mm-hmm. like on the side while y'all are coming in the front, uh, I would allow that. Where yeah. are we jumping to? To the other elevator? Yeah, the one with Tadashi and Valkyrie on that's it. Where, that's yeah. kind of was my mission. And then as soon as we get across, I'm going to find a place to hunker down because I, I've, I'm not going to be able to fight. Are we going to make this jump? Yeah. I guess... <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we're, we're gonna we're gonna yeah. sure dang try. I'm gonna you try. Say it's 80 yards. Yeah, that's a big jump. But we can go really fast. 240. Yeah, you're gonna almost yeah. have to. Yeah, oh, the, almost. I, I, I've got full. I got full faith in Barricade getting across. So his his armor has separate SDC than his own SDC. Yep. Yes. So he can just, he just since he's all. gonna blow it up, he can just expend but all. That of also it. means us going 600 miles per hour yeah. into the side of we'll an elevator. Fine. We're robots. Can we all just like? strap onto one another? I will say that uh, you'll crash through the side and everyone will suffer I'll be nice, 75 SDC going through the window. Ugh. So we land. So we're on that'll, this elevator. That'll, that'll take me out. Well, I w- uh, you would be on somebody. I will let them take it for you. So okay. I'll be on my back. So All right, cool. My, my plan would be to side. jump off of it before it breaks through the glass. Yeah. So I don't... So would I still take that damage? Uh... I- we're jumping yeah. off because I want yeah, cause you're toward take, the it, other elevator. It's all about the speed and collision. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm trying to jump off of it and then yeah. race to I mean, the other elevator. There are rules that I could right. look up. Uh, that I think it's a D6 based on miles per hour, mm-hmm. and I think it's every ten gets a D6. I don't think y'all want me to do that math. Yeah. Do we have enough dice to do that math anyway? <laughs> I mean, so I mean, do we are have these to... elevator platforms connected? Uh, so the, is there a point we can? Try to jump for a landing instead of crashing. See, that's what I was thinking. Building. Could we? Could we just jump over there and then, like, do we have something to shoot? Well, we don't have long range weapons, yeah. but do we have a way to break through the? I think they're gonna stop on our level. Uh, there's nothing at that level to stop at. They're headed. There. This is an elevator that's going to continue oh, that to go only all the way. straight up. Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we gotta. We gotta. So stop if we the crash elevator. through the tube, we're on the elevator. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. So, so but yeah. Can we just? Yeah. Can we like? Can we just take and then a we're piece? We're fighting off? on an elevator. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wish we'd have taken like a shield, like a part of barricade off the suit, and then we just put it in front of us, like you know, a vibranium <laughs> shield as we plow through some plexiglass. All right. So, what are what are we going to roll for this computer programming, robotic electronics? To uh, do the definitely over- robotics electronics. All right. Let's hope this works. 45, and it was a 55, so there you go. I got the override going. All right. So do you want me to narrate the scene, or do you all want to give the narration for going over that, how you all are going to be doing this? So I'm. So you guys are waiting for me. You hear the, the click, click, click of keys. All of a sudden, the hatch pops out. Yeah, I get crou- out. I'm crouched down, ready to... The hatch pops open. I crawl out. I'm like, all right, this thing is ready to blow. All I need to do is hit the button. Is everybody ready? I'm ready. ready. Get on my back. All right. I'm going to get on his back. We ready? Yep. All right. I'm going to hit the button. 
and it takes off uh, and begins building up speed, more speed, more speed, and you timed it just perfectly so that it flies off the edge, descends a little bit, crashes into the elevator, and lands on the guards in there. Several of them die immediately on impact. And a few seconds later, as you're all also sailing through the air, uh, heading towards the other, other elevator shaft, you see that bright explosion and just smoke and fire fills the tube, both above and below. A little bit of smoke coming out of the side. Nice. And you crash into the other elevator shaft that was carrying Tadashi and Valkyrie and the three soldiers, crashing through the glass, taking some damage, and landing... Uh, does anybody have a certain way that they wish to land? I, I will allow this. If y'all, Some of you might have acrobatics or other things that would allow you to this have I a little flair. I fully flare. expect... Uh, Climbing, Eric. running, hand-to-hand -hand basic. So uh, with having a jump kick or leap attack, mm -hmm. could I you use just, either like, of those to, like, the second we bust in, just try to take out. take somebody out or try to attack somebody I from the start? I will even let you go ahead Fox and use and that to do some damage to them. Okay. Nice. Who are you aiming for? Valkyrie. You're aiming immediately for Valkyrie. Okay. Immediately for Valkyrie. No, I th yeah, because I'm pretty sure that Barricade is uh, is going Hello, my name is Victor Rock. You killed <laughs> you my father. father prepare to, to die. die. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I, I, I take my mom's name. And I'm, uh, yeah, happy. I'm withdrawing my laser edge swords and activating them. And as soon as, as we the, hear, and as soon as we hit the ground, I rolled off of his back. I've and got two. It, yeah, two swords standing there, kind of squishy, going, uh, "Go get him, guys!" <laughs> All right, so let's hopefully start I don't off. hit barricade. Okay. Well, yeah. Not, yeah, let's start off I'm, here. I'm, so yeah. I'm going to do the leap attack. Yeah, uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to. I'm coming down in the air, just with a with. I'm just gonna hit hit Valkyrie right in her big dumb face. She is unaware <laughs> of you, is so it'll else be a dodge at the last second. It will not be a parry, so she's gonna have to use an action to do this. this. I'm like, no, don't be a betrayer. Uh, that will be she thirteen. Bubble gum ball. Oh, nice. <laughs> so that is sixty six plus twenty. Jeez. Yeah. The only thing that I have a plus anything at is uh, speaking my native language, and I can r read and write at a plus 20. Okay. So and I will also say add, 70, is add 75, <laughs> because you're also going to do the damage of your uh, your momentum to her. Okay, so that is Jeez. 19. 19 plus 20 is 39, and then add 75, which would make it 100... I know it's a lot. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, 30, 39 and 70. So 114? 100. Yeah. All right. 100. So I just come down, punch her in her big dumb head. I'm happy to see I'm not in a room of mathematicians. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my character doesn't even have mathematics basics, so. It's on my sheet, but I have no ads for it, so I guess I have it, but. Yeah, it just means that you can do it, and you pretty much have it's like a minus a 15, 15 or something, so I roll a d20 and hope to God I get 15 or higher. All right, and that, all right. and that's that's me. That's what you I do. Slam into her, and Believe she me, flies squishy. back, and you land. Me, you, and uh, are you just pulled like... your swords. The glass shatters in front of him, and he collides with Valkyrie. What are you going to do? Do I have a, a shot at Tadashi? Yeah, absolutely. This would be a double sword. All right, kind nice. of maneuver. Absolutely. So go ahead and roll to hit. He's going to try to dodge. Four. Oh. But. But. Strike plus six, so that's a ten. Okay, so he rolled a 16. At the last second, uh, he dodges out of the way and uh, yells uh, for, you know, Valkyrie and the soldiers, take them down! Take them down! Uh, it's obvious he is not a combatant. So, we are going to go ahead and roll some initiative. Alright. Nice. <laughs> You're going to love that. So, wow. Uh, let's see. Essentially, that is a... Uh, 
Everybody gets to go first. That's just how it is. Okay, so right. uh, going around the group. Barricade, what's your initiative? 17. 17. Onyx? Uh, 15. 15. General? Whopping 8. And Mercury? 13. 13. Okay, y'all are all just about going to go first. Uh, My sword slash really put me off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, barricade, you are actually going first. <laughs> what are you going to do? I mean, is save. there any, is there anything I can do except save my actions for dodging? Yo, hack hack these guys' guns. You can save your actions for dodging. You are. Uh, what is your strength? Uh, that's the PS, PS right? Sixteen. Sixteen. So you're really not going to be able to do a lot of physical mm -hmm. damage in but this form. Right. Uh, but you could try to hack she something. Could uh, be better. Um, yeah, I, uh, I'm not sure what to uh, what to hack. Um, uh, the other guard with the elevator, anything with the security system, anything. Uh, okay, so why don't so the elevator's still moving up at this point, correct? I'm gonna try and hack it and turn it turn it off. Okay. And that is a eighty. Ready? Keep, uh, you can keep trying if you'd like. That's just one action. I'll try one more. Oh, wait. That's the wrong one. You sh you rolling the wrong die, I rolled the two tens instead of the ten in the percentage. Uh, that's better. It's 43. So, no, I still didn't do it. All right. He is uh, hacking away, trying to get the elevator to stop. Uh, Onyx. All right. I... Approach Valkyrie and attempt to kill her face. Uh, punch like side punch, and then once my fist connects, I pop out my uh, claws. Okay, stabby stabby. Stabby stabby. This is gonna be a parry on her part, but uh, oh, tell me what you got. Sweet sweet critical hit. Nice. Oh, okay, yeah, that, that is a critical. So go ahead and I hate uh, this lady. double this damage. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this lady. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so that is uh, 3d6. And I'm also going to attempt to poison her. So how would um all right? So how how would the poison apply with the crit? Would that double as well? Uh, she is not poisoned. Okay, sorry. So it doesn't matter. But that is going to be seven, and so that is 10 plus 23. So that is 33. So that is 66 damage. Oh, to Valkyrie. So I I punch her in the side, pop out my claws, and she's just like, ow. <laughs> See, and I imagine her retractable side swords or whatever that come out of her arms. I imagine them like in the old, like in like yeah. Greece, when they do the drag racing yeah. and the little okay. fire. So blades. she uh, <laughs> she tried to knock your weapon aside with her own blades and misses. You drive them into her, and that was just your first attack. Yep, and now I'm going to attack her again. Okay. With a my uh, wheel bl buzz saws. <laughs> You so know what? You, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna pull my claw out of her side, reach reach to my back, pull out my laser halberd because I still have three rounds on that. Okay. Pop that on and and come down like swiping at her shoulder. All right. Yeah, these are large bay elevators, so it is possible. That's another crit. I rolled a 19. Oh my my, my crit my crit is between 18 and 20. Nice. Nice. Okay, keep it going. All right, so that is 46 plus 44. Is that a rigged die over there? Yeah. <laughs> Do we care? <laughs> Take no. her out. Uh, okay, so that's not wonderful. So that is four. So that's nine. Nine plus 44 is 53. So double that is 106. Uh, and then I'm going to try to poison her again. All right. Let's see. She's got to be. She's got to be. we got to be getting into some hit points here. Oh, yeah. I didn't kick off with the poison again. Okay. And that you you have one attack left or two more? Uh, I've got used two. Yeah, You've got five. I have yeah. five, so I have three left. I'm gonna use a third one to to attack her again with uh, with the laser hal uh, halberd. Okay. Okay, that one, that one, that one's a twelve. Okay, she dodges that one. All right, okay. she was she's, she's bound like, to get one. Ow! I crit I crit her twice <laughs> in a row. It's you know cut her a break. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and I will I will end there. So I have I have two two dodges I can take along with my parry. Yep. All right, uh, Mercury. Me? Yes. 
Um, I'm still a little concerned that Blitz might turn on us. Okay. But I don't, you know, but I don't want to be like, I don't want to like gut, gut them, yeah. you know. Well, don't I don't forget, have any way to gut them, but we also have another another soldier on the elevator with us, correct? Three more soldiers. Three more soldiers. So. Because you're on Tadashi, right, General? Yeah. And then you're on Valkyrie, and then there's yeah. three other soldiers. Yeah. I've got no. I mean, all I can hope to do is like roll into a knuckles. tiny ball. I think Tadashi's kind of yeah, squishy. Don't you, have, but don't you have cool fingernails? Oh, I have. Yeah, I do have razor fingernails. Yeah, they do um, damage. So sla slash one of them guards' eyeball eyeballs out. They can't use their guns good if they don't have eyeballs. And I have an athletic kick. Could I have also just come in with a kick first? Could I have come in with a kick in someone's face and then raked my razor fingernails across? I them will and allow it. Uh, so I mean, it could be two attacks. Yeah. My, my foot come, would hit first. Are you coming in like a wrecking ball? I came in like a wrecking ball. I'm not naked, though. <laughs> not naked on a crane. <laughs> Good. Uh, well, it's, my it's tongue fine is you, firmly in my mouth. It's fine if you are robots. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, true. true. You don't know if I'm naked or not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this might just be my birthday suit. You don't know what I got going on under here. Herzog <laughs> literally gave it to me for my birthday. I don't understand these two words. <laughs> so what do I? I D twenty. D twenty for the athletic kick first. Yeah, let's go for that. First. Into into guard yeah. number three. It's a s okay. What do I add? Do I add anything uh, to that strike? Strike. That's a twenty. It hits. Yay! Now so all your damage. I get to do two d four. It's not a whole lot because I'm only five six and, yeah. but I'm hundred and ninety pounds at five six. But I think I'm a stocky five six. Well, you're, uh, you're yeah, robot. Oh, I'm a robot. Body. That's yeah, right. A lot of alloys. I'm still thinking of humans. I'm like hundred ninety at five six. Yeah, like I, cause I'm six foot and I'm. 280, but I imagine for a robot that's not that heavy for yeah, six foot. That's true. Four. Four points down, Chittle? Four, yeah. Mm -hmm. What? And that's uh you It's a two D four. Do I add something to it? Is there not it's just total two D four? That's all it says. Okay, and that's it. Yeah. You're the one who created this character, Jan. So. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, so, so four that points was of damage. The kick. And then I want to rake my razor fingernails. Okay, all right. Oh, I can add damage you to that. Add the yes. Seven. Oh, so so yes, it was sorry. eleven. There we go. Is that better? Yes, much better. All right. Uh, and then you have the opportunity now to go ahead and get that punch in or whatever else you're. Yeah, gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and use my last action to rake my fingernails across either guard one or two's face, whoever's closest to guard three. All right. Probably guard one. Let's go for the next guard then. Do I get to add strike to that? Yes. Eleven. Eleven. <laughs> uh, misses. Dang. Ah. So. All right. Uh, kick so your that friend. was Mercury and uh, General and Valkyrie will be the next ones to go off, but I'll go ahead and let General go first. Uh, is. Tadashi? Is he squishy? Is he? Oh, have, he's very squishy. He's like in a business suit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's swords again. All right, go for it. Sword slash. Probably I've, just one at this point. I've kind of given everyone a look. Like, leave this one to me. I got. Oh, I've the got. Valkyrie? I got her. That's fine. I'll go. I'll go for him and then go for a guard. Uh, nine. Plus uh, uh, six. You hit. Fifteen. Yeah. You beat it by one. And that is 46 plus 14. I'm assuming you already added the damage yeah. on those. Ten, fifteen, fi 18 plus 14. 20. No, 30, 32, 32. 32. All right. You are down to hit points on him. Oh, nice. nice. So you have slashed through his, uh, basically slashed open his suit. His chest is now exposed, and he falls to his knees in front of you, like this looking up at you. Uh, he's got a few hit points left, and that's it. That is a grab his head and smash my knee into his face. Take him out. Maybe the other one's a surrender. <laughs> un un unconscious or kill? Oh, this is kill. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. <clears throat> so roll that d20 going oh. full lethal. 
Uh, 16. I rolled a 1, so it's all Shh, good. You ripped his head off. Oh, no. Yeah, he's... No, he, I was just smashing his, yeah, his head in. Yeah. yeah, describe it how you would like to do it. Oh, I grabbed him by his hair, his ears, pulled his head into my knee, and... Your cyber knee, and took him out. No more face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Valkyrie's like, Dad! Oh, it, <laughs> <laughs> That's too... I do have one more action. But you I, do. Hmm. Uh, but Tadashi is now toast. Your knee fall, pulls away from his face, which is now concave and bloody. Mm-hmm. And he falls to the ground, a limp corpse. Will a laser sword still be active if it's thrown? Is that even possible? Uh, technically, uh, although... Mm, yeah, let's go for it. Why not? Uh, throw it at a soldier. All right. Uh, one of the ones that uh, she has already targeted or a new one? A new one. All right. Soldier get it to hit. two. Unless, you know, if I can get over there... Is there, is there enough room for me? I, I, evidently, I wouldn't want to throw my sword because I'm giving them a weapon. Yeah. If I can reach them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, absolutely. I, I'm assuming we're fast enough, so I would just Did you do smash his head in, turn around, and... Yes. Uh, he's going almost last. And swing. So uh, this will be a normal slash. All right. Nineteen. Nice. Plus right. six. Do you crit on no. anything? <laughs> I rolled a one again. Uh, I don't know where that crit it would be. It would say it under affiliations at the bottom. And uh, no, just regular. Yeah. Do you need a new D twenty, Jim? No, God, you you want to give me a better D twenty? No. I'm the GM. Come oh. on. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. We have we have another we have special another guest. Interloper. He's not as easily deterred. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We got him. That's a twenty four. Hit. 24 SDC to soldier. All right. Uh, yes. Okay, for the soldier. So I smashed, smashed his head in, turned around with with my right arm and just slashed through a soldier. All right. And not through, but hit. So Valkyrie, uh, it would technically be her actions, but I just remembered she used most of her actions to try to dip dodge. Nice. So she is unable to act. Blitz will now act. And Blitz is just going to try and attack one of the guards. Cool. Oh, good. He's still on our side. I guess he's a little perturbed that they left him and behind. And unfortunately, uh, it is ineffective yeah. as he just tries to hit him and misses entirely. Go for another one. That is actually a crit. I will see. I don't think that they can do anything. Like yep. There we go. So nice. Uh, he will actually attack the one that was uh, attacking Mercury, and he will punch them and kill that guard. Nice. Nice. All right. Uh, and then we have finally the guards who will be trying to fire their weapons at you. Mm. Uh, let's see. Uh, Sean, one of them is going to try and take aim at you. So on my skills and powers, it has half damage from bullets. That no longer applies, I'm assuming. It does. Oh, it does? Yeah, because that is specific to your type to of my body. Head. Oh, awesome. Because okay. your, your uh, plastic uh, exterior is okay. designed for anti-ballistics and knives. Great. So and as a, just as like a free thing, you can, you can well, it's bullets. Can parry work, or does he have to dodge? Uh, at this point, because they're in such close range and everything else, is the GM, and this is one of the things I do like about Palladium, is they give you a little bit of leeway, and I'm going to say, yes, you can parry this. Okay. You can just try and push the gun out of the way. Yeah, but I blew all my actions trying to hack the... Oh, no, I have one left. Parry is a free action. Oh, that's right. Awesome. Okay. So, that's a 12. All right, you succeed and... and well, 15, because I get plus three to my parry, yeah. so 15. And you uh, you parry that attack. Uh, the other one is going to also shoot at uh, Steven. So do you have any dodge actions left or anything? Any parry I, actions? I have... Uh, I'm, I'm going to use my parry. Okay. Uh, you're looking at a base 16. Okay, and I rolled 14 plus 9. All right, you parry that one as well. 
Uh, and this leaves us with uh, starting initiative over again then. I swear to God, it was, it was a 16. It rolled when I moved my train. I wow, I am. I swear, I swear. I believe you. Impressed. Okay, let's start off barricade. Here. One. One. Okay. Onyx. Six. Wow. Yeah. Uh, General. Thirteen. Nice. And Mercury. Sixteen. Did Blitz fight for us last time? Yes. 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 Sweet. Yeah. Hey, uh, killed a guard. Killed the guard nice. that you were fighting. I'm falling in love with Blitz. <laughs> Robot love. Yep. Okay. He's the Hugo to my. The guards will actually be going first this round, amazingly. <laughs> so uh, they're going to shoot. Let's see who they target. <laughs> they're targeting uh, you again. So I'll do a parry. All right. Uh, we're looking at a 13. 19. All right. You parry that attack. Uh, the next one is targeting you. All right. I'm going to try to parry. Just roll. <laughs> yep, I rolled. I rolled a six they plus nine. A, they rolled a three, which for them gets them a four. <laughs> well, guess guess who brought a gun to a sword fight? <laughs> yeah. All right, so that takes care of the guards. However, Valkyrie now gets to go. Yeah. And Valkyrie is actually going to try, and uh, you know, do I really want to do that? No, I don't. We're not going to have her try to wrestle you and fall out and take you to the death outside of the uh, elevator yeah, shaft. She'd fail anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so she's, she's just going to fail you. She's going to try to strike you. Valkyrie, uh, we're looking at seventeen. Low, more like Valkyrie. Be like uh, Valkyrie. Why did you give it? I up? I also rolled seventeen, so I matched her. Yeah, you're still uh, talking to the defender. Uh, and so she's going to try one last time to strike you. I will attempt to dodge again. All right. So you're looking at a 17. And I rolled a 14 plus 9. All right. You dodge both. She's trying to hold on to one action. Okay. No, seriously, uh, Valkyrie, why don't you give it up? Everybody's dead. General. I think I'm going to uh, I'm gonna use my... Or actually, I am so sorry. Mercury, you Mercury, rolled a 16. Yeah, she's 16. I rolled a 16? Yes, you did. Who's alive still? Uh, one two guard. guards. Two guards and Valkyrie. I'm gonna there raise is, her fingernail. Yeah, there's one guard that is very hurt. He's been hecked up pretty good by a sword. I'm gonna raise her fingernail. The one that's not been hecked up. Okay. So uh, roll your d20. Come on, d20. That's not what I'm looking for. <laughs> no, they dodged. Oh, did they? Yeah, completely? they rolled a 20. Oh well, then I'm gonna try it again. Okay. They rolled out of the box. <laughs> it rolled it again. Rolled <laughs> I got a one on my first one. All right. It did roll out of the box, though, twice. Okay. <laughs> uh, so on from Valtteri, uh, Mercury, now on to General. He's like, I'm a thief. I'm a thief. <laughs> I think I'm going to go after the... I think it, Valkyrie looks like a target for me now. That's the most dangerous opponent in the room, probably. And I'm going to go for a hold. Using my wrestling okay. abilities. All right, so we're going to start off, and you need to decide: Are you going to try and go for a hold? That could be an arm hold, a leg hold, body hold, neck hold. I think a neck hold sounds good. We're going to. I don't want to accidentally hit Onyx with one of these laser edge swords. You're kind of close, I think. I can't get hit by nothing. All right, so we're going to roll <laughs> against each other. Ooh. She did pretty good. She's looking at a uh, 24. 20. All right. So she dodges your attempt to uh, get that hold. Uh, one more try. All right. Uh, she is unable to dodge. So just roll higher than five. Yes. All Success. right. Success. Seven. Y she is now unable to do anything, and uh, she will not be able to move for this round, essentially. So she's in a choke hold right now. Yeah. And this means that she is entirely vulnerable to any attack. All right, so that was good job. General leads us to Onyx. All right, she's in a chokehold. Yeah. She used all her dodge. She yes. can't do anything. No, she can't. 
Uh, I I use I believe this is the uh, I have two rounds left on my laser halberd I believe, mm-hmm. um, and I am just gonna lay into her. Uh, just watch out for me. Yeah, don't yeah. stab, slice. It's slicing. It's sli- <laughs> it's slicing time. Uh, I'm gonna go for the gut, gutter. I rolled. Do they get she... higher than fi- five? I mean, that, that... That, yeah, that's higher than five. It's like robot parts flying around. Yeah. Oil splattering, blood yeah. gushing. At I this point, be like honest, uh, you have all your attacks yep. left, correct? Yes. No, I have uh, three. Three left. Because I dodged twice. So and they're all automatic hits? They're all pretty much automatic hits because yeah. you even if you rolled a one, you're going to be hit. Yeah, it's over. Yeah. So... How do you want to do this? Okay. Uh, I'm, well, I'm going to hit her as many times until she's copied. Dead. Yeah. So. And then, and then, uh, as cyborgs, I think I would know this. Do we have like internal memory chips to where like we could take it and then like learn what she knew when she was alive? Hey, why not? Okay. So I, we got that. So we don't need. We don't need to keep her alive. I'm nope. just going to damn like do. I'm gonna heck her up real good, but not damage <laughs> that 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 we need, so we can like learn what's really going on. All we've done this game is heck things up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So first attack does good, good damage. So that is 16, 18, 22, 22 plus 44, 66. Oh yeah. On that first hit, she is out. All right. So, so. pretty much everything from that point forward. Yeah. Is just so ripping you know, the chip out. Is, no. is 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 like is she dead or is she out of uh, STC? She is dead. Okay, so I I cut her in half with my laser halberd, okay. and and I got two attacks left. I'm going to turn around to these two guards, who I imagine are just yeah. trembly trembly boys. Yep. Uh, <laughs> One attack each from that weapon would kill both. Yeah, I'm going to attack uh, the first one. That's uh, 14 plus 7, so 21. All right, hits. And then he's, so he's dead. Yeah. And then second attack against the other one, that's 13 plus uh, 7. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. Yeah. So I just, I, I slice, I essentially, I do, I spin to win. I do, I hold my halberd out, spin, slice her in half, spin some more, slice one guard in half, and then spin and slice the other yeah. guard in half. Just so, pirouette. Just one, just one big swing, just like, <laughs> So as Onyx does this attack, uh, the general, you feel that the body that you're holding in a chokehold gets lighter suddenly. (laughs) Looking down, half of it is now missing. And the other two uh, soldiers are also down and on the ground. Yeah, I'm doing one of those throw to the side, disgusted. Yeah. Get this thing off me. And then (laughs) then I'll, I'll I'll turn to barricade and just say, hey, take... Take take her chip so we can so we can learn the uh, the conspiracy. All right. So we can get closure. Uh, that is a one. So yeah, I was able to get a chip. All right. Using uh robotic electronics, I'm assuming yeah. versus mechanics. Yep. 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 I got a chip. Okay. Sweet. Your team slaughters essentially, it and has defeated everyone in these elevators. It rises to the top and the doors open. Oh, no. No one else is out there. Whew. There is this brief moment where each one of you realize that the moment that you step out of this elevator, you're free. You could literally do whatever you want to do. So what is it? Let's go ahead. At the close of this game, what is it each one of you are going to do? Look, my, my character is extremely uncomfortable with, like, he's a follower. Yeah. Like, he was a soldier his whole life, and then he joined this team, and he, like, followed general, Mr. Herzog. So he's whatever. Yeah, he's following. He's following <laughs> the general. He's wherever you go, I go. I follow you now. Okay. So, general, what do you think you would want to do? I'm going to go search for my missing family. There you go. Nice. Nice. Uh, Very mysterious. Yeah. I could surely use your help. Yeah. And you got it. Uh, so, barricade. I am going to take the chip and start researching what happened. Since I'm free, I'm free of my debt at this time. 
I'm going to look into this and see if there's something I can do about it to avenge my father. And I'm also going to look for weaponry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there are there are rifles here, obviously, left from the guards. Uh, yeah, that's 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 and, my future plan. And also this uh, hand-to-hand combat stuff. Yeah, sword, it's all nice, but swords <laughs> as well from uh, the uh, from Valkyrie, oh, her yeah. sword that she had held up over her head. My my character would have taken that as a trophy. All right, and Mercury, what would you do? Um, hmm. I mean, like, are we just like in a city or is it empty? I mean, we're just You're like in a city a, now. You're back, back in up in uh, Mega City Thirteen. Do we stand out in our cybernetic? Cyberball uni- outfits? Not, not so much. Not as much? Not Do as Do our much. wheels retract? Uh, like, can we just walk? Yeah. Nice. That's a plus. Um, I look at Blitz. Do they look just as lost? Yeah, actually. Do you want to get a coffee? I'm going to apologize. I'm sorry about your tank. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> it, it, it did its purpose. It protected us. It got us out. Blitz looks over at Mercury and is like My name's yeah. my name's Benji. Uh yeah, Benji uh coffee sounds good. I could go for that as well. <laughs> you, you do know that relationships formed under extreme stress never work out, right? That's fine. <laughs> That's even better. <laughs> <laughs> I like how how uh, Connor's they like They work out for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Connor's like, coffee sounds good. Benji's <laughs> like, that's slow turn. Okay, let me just invite myself to your thing. And hey, this guy's following me for now long, so he's coming yeah. too. Right. I guess, do you want to come too? You know what, Victor? before I start my research, yeah, I guess I'll join you all for coffee. Let's be a, it's it's just post-credits, just Avengers yeah. 1. Of us. We're yeah. just at shawarma. Yeah, you're, 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 you're at coffee shawarma. So. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, guys, that is going to be the end tonight for Cyberball. Cyberball. That was awesome. All right. Yeah, it was super cool. That was great. Well, that is kind of a rough rundown of this Palladium system with heroes. But, you know, I kind of chose this game really because it has a pretty robust system, if Mm. you actually ever look through it, for the cyber gear. And that's kind of a rare thing to find. Uh, Shadowrun also kind of does that, and we will be uh, running a Shadowrun game. And there will be that opportunity. So, hey, come on back and see the rest of our Cyber-esque season. So we got a lot more games coming up. All right, guys. See y'all later. Peace. Awesome. Thank you. See ya. And that will do it for us tonight on Seriously Let's Play. 